Hello Striders, welcome to the final match of the first round of the top 10 qualification playoff of season 3 of the Pooper Gauntlet. Brought to you by mtdotickets.com. I'm playing Blue Green Madness. This deck got further than it ever has in the Pooper Gauntlet due to an amazing build by ETNs. Rot style. Rat style. 91. Is my opponent. That I'm going to eat alive, but not with this hand. Ouch. I think I'm gonna keep this for a six lander. But it's not any good. And I'm gonna bottom that land. And I might actually daze a very aggressive one drop here. But oh, is it chance for revenge? Then we don't have a very good hand because this deck was eliminated by Mono Black Control in round seven. Because now we're just playing for the top 10 spot. Vapor Snag, fairly useless against Mono Black. Hooting Mandrills, also very useless. Now we'll probably get the Daisy Shittering Rats or something. Uh, I'm gonna daze this. Oh, he got stuck. But he got stuck uh, while he still had removal mana. So I am just gonna draw a ton of cards here. And then overrun him. And we shall have our revenge! I will have my revenge! Uh, okay, draw more cards, go from there. I don't think I need to play Hooting Mandrills yet, it is just going to die. So I'm gonna keep Circular Logic open here. Or am I? Or am I gonna let Gaithan Raiders just die? Keeping up Circle of Logic seems pretty good here. I'm gonna do it. Maybe I can counter another sign in blood or something. Okay, I'm gonna stand up because we need to win this. That would give me a 7-2 record. Uh, that's unfortunate because now circular logic dies. That would give me a 7-2 record in the first round of the playoff. Which would be good. <laughs> Madness. That doesn't work, does it? Okay, so now I can probably play both of them. Just three mana. No, I can't. So I will play it for three mana and have <laughs> double Vapor Snag open. Why would I want double Vapor Snag open? At least I can save it with a Vapor Snag now. Which I will, of course, do. No kill spell. Ta da! Guess verdict incoming for Diabolic Edict or nothing. Okay, so then we just uh, go to town. Very hard to empty the hand. We have Vapor Snag to defend ourselves. Just Doom Blade. Or something similar. And there's Victim of Night, so we Vapor Snag. 
Quatre carrés. God shit in us. He's still gonna recover despite the fact that I draw four cards. I can attack here. And just discard the Whipper Snag, I think. Uh, not unnecessarily. Let's uh, look at what we can find. Find another Whipper Snag. But I'm gonna discard the island of three cards there now, so now I replay them. I don't know why I didn't tap more islands. So can I get any value for the Vapor Snagger? I don't think so. And now I will probably just discard the last one to Mr. Morphy. Didn't he know this was? Wasn't it obvious? Okay, we are way ahead on the battlefield, but I don't feel very confident here. Look at that. That is so sweet against Mono Black. Okay, now we can keep Circle of Logic up, that's perfect. Just for two though. Double circular logic even. But uh, no, we can't play the other one. I'm not thinking properly. Do you have trample? No, you don't. But circular logic is definitely my thing of choice here. Um, yeah, I don't think how I could have kept it a 5-5. So now I'm gonna die to this figure. No, because I will still get rid of that. Ta-da! Two more mana. You don't have two more mana. Maybe you have another disfigure. I should have done that before he blocked, of course. But now I don't have a discard outlet. Still think I have a fairly chance good of winning here. It's a grey merchant. And he doesn't do too much harm. Another grey merchant would be horrible, but of course I can counter that. So I can still attack with the mandrills. Got the days. Should I now draw another card immediately? No, I want to keep circular logic open, of course. I should have kept that guy back for blocking, but I can block with the root walla. I don't play. No, I should not have attacked with that. That was a mistake. Didn't think it through properly. 
Here comes the other Grey Merchant, and of course I will counterspell it. I should have just cast it for mana, right? Yeah, I should have. Or even dazed it. And then I could have gotten the root well into play. Yeah, bad play. But now he needs to be concerned about dying. No, he still attacks, that's not good. So can I now, hey, hey, very good. Okay, we want to add exclude and dispels. I'm not sure about the dispels. Definitely not sure about this dispels, but I'm sure about taking out Vapor Snags and Waterfront Bouncer because they don't do much in this matchup. All right, we shall have our revenge. We shall defeat Mono Black Control. Yes. Awesome. Mon oh black control must pay for its insolence. Okay. Yeah, I have the deep analysis. I will keep this hand. Because I think deep analysis is the key. It's three extra cards in the hand. And if he dresses it, it's just even better. So. I'm playing that thing here now because yeah, I want to do something. The rest now will be really good. Otherwise I'm just gonna attack and pump. What happened? Sign in blood. Uh, work on the mandrills. Or just hit him for three. I say hit him for three. That might have been wrong. Use a Terramorphic next turn. Yeah, this could get ugly. Which is... Not fun. So we'll just hit him for three again. And then he will get to kill the witches. Feeding the mandrills. And then I can go deep analysis mandrills on turn 5. Which I think will be good enough. Okay, that changes the plan. Why are you not killing the... Okay, uh, yeah, maybe you are still safe then, if I don't have a growth spell. So, draw some cards. Looter! That would be fantastic. Is it worth doing one extra damage with the root voila? Maybe it is. Oh, he didn't go for the root voila. Oh, he was still... 
So he's signing bloods. He's taking a lot of damage here. Empty the rest. It's not what you want. Except then for the fact that he probably has a Grey Merchant. Uh, we got Circular Logic. That's pretty neat. Tempted to play. No, I'll just keep up circular logic here. This game turned weird. Uh, without the Vapor Snags, what's my plan against witches? Doesn't seem like I have a plan. And of course, I'm gonna logic that. Logicking any two for one seems good enough. And now you can just kill the stupid Rokwala. And then I don't have much. And you finally went for it. Making me able to play Mandrills for two. Or Arrogant Worm for five. Or both. No, I can't play both. So how about playing these guys? Because the big guys are just gonna be dying very quickly. No, I will play this for mana. And Thornwood Falls. Now I will have a super cheap mandrills. But my one ones feel very bad. That's a grey merchant. So now I can block and kill the arrogant worm. I think you can win this. I think I'm falling way behind here. And getting in two damage with the root while I just has no purpose at all. So we fake circular logic and play this guy for six or oh, for four. But we can't play the other guys. And Chinese Edict just wrecks us. Grey Merchant is pretty bad too. Yep. And now we are in deep, deep trouble. Very deep trouble. And now we can't attack. Or do anything. We have been controlled. We need Cordro and we don't have it. And it's just another Grey Merchant. Uh, yeah, that card is pretty broken. 1-1. One, one. But the sideboard plan says to remove the Vapor Snags. Here it felt really bad because of the Witches. But maybe the Witches don't hurt us that much normally. So, uh, time for game three. We must have our revenge. Uh, 
uh, this hand is horrible, right? It doesn't have anything. So I'm going to mulligan it. I think this hand can't stand a mono black control. This is better, but not much better. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna bottom to Wild Mongrel. I have my deep analysis. I have the looter, I have card draw. Of course, looter cannot live here. Gush doesn't look very hot. And even if I get to use the looter, it's, it's not. Oh god. Once again, witches just wreck us. Discarding deep analysis. Play that thing. Should we use the deep analysis? But now we actually found our land drops. Or play the mongrel. Play the gate on raiders. I think it's mongrel. I'm not sure. It's very important we don't miss land drops. I once again think that just drawing a ton of cards is the salvation here. Okay, so I uh, sacrificed the creature that you could kill first. Seems bad not to kill it first. Um, I have to draw the cards. have to find the land and now I'm thinking now I have days now I want the full value of the other deep analysis and I will kill this guy even if it costs me my root voila okay so we got days gosh I'm not gonna play Gush yet. We want the lands out to be able to cast deep analysis. What? He targets me? Interesting. I mean, days for mana. I need tendrils, so we just this that for mana. And now we're gonna deep analysis, deep analysis, and that has to be the key to everything. An arrogant worm would be amazing here. Uh, I don't think it's time to let out the Root voila. No. I'm just gonna deep analysis. I should have done that before attacking. And we will have a revenge. And we are going green. Now we don't have a counter spell. Oh, Bayuka Bog kills the deep analysis. That's horrible. Now Gush is starting to make sense. Uh, it still doesn't work because he will just kill it. I'm getting low. 
I think I will gush here. Uh, yeah, so now we have to play stuff to not have to discard them unnecessarily. Oh, we can still have days here. Now we can kill witches if they attack. Uh, I think we're good. Losing that deep analysis was a shame, but now he has three cards against our seven. That seems pretty good. Uh oh. He now has six mana for the Grey Merchant. We have useless one ones in Throves. Oh yeah, that guy, what do we do against him? There's another card that we're Vapor Snag seems very, very, very good. Using the root walla doesn't serve any purpose. Well, I guess we can get out the arrogant worm. have days. I really want to play the one ones. But we can double block Gurmagangler. We can also play Root Dweller, but that doesn't help us. No. We are a little bit stuck. Because Witches is just so dangerous. Remember days. Can't do anything about chittering rats. Okay, so we discard a card. Play it with madness. I will do one damage to him. I will use this for the root wallet to switch it back. I hope I'm doing the right thing now. Wait a minute, he is doing one damage before it switched. Oh God, he tricked me. Very clever. So that didn't work at all. Oh god. That was bad. But I can still block here of course. And I still have days and I still have Gaithan Raiders. But I am running out of cards. Pump. And play this guy. Who could actually work here? Gonna discard Murfolk Luther then. And then, of course, he can do one damage to that thing. And I can't empty my hand. 
So that didn't really work out. It's a gray merchant. God. Oh, it hurts so bad. He's going to win. Seems that blue green madness has a problem with mono black control. Or I have a problem playing against mono black control. But witches are just dominating me. I have four life, so we have a problem. Yeah, you get the days, and I'm hellbent. <laughs> yeah, this spell, not the best of cards. He's just gonna witch me three times. And what can I do about it? Not a whole lot. I can't attack. I'm just screwed here. And it's because Grey Merchant is a very powerful card. Uh, why doesn't he just attack? That was weird. But of course, there is no way out. And he will probably realize that now. So we end up 6-3 for the first round of the top 10 qualification playoff. Six decks still remain. Trying to get the number 10 spot in the Pauper Gauntlet. And Blue Green Madness ended up. We can now give it a final position. Because I said six decks are left. So this deck ended up in 16th place. Together with Rugtron and Iset Koldutha. 16th place out of 78 decks. I think Blue Green Madness did well. Thank you for watching.